I'm Barbara Hagler, and I'd like to welcome you to Living in Hope Storytime. Today, we're here with our friends from Hope Farm. We have Henrietta, and Luca, and Julia, and over here we have the alpacas, and Buddy, and Speedy Steve, and his friends. We'll be hearing a lot about all of these friends, but this morning, we're going to start with what was the first book, Henrietta's Hope. I'd like to introduce you to Henrietta. She knew she'd be the beauty of the chicken coop if it weren't for her crooked beak. And she looked for a way to change her crooked beak. But along the way, she finds out that God has a plan for her, even with that crooked beak. So let's get started. Cock-a-doodle-doo, cock-a-doodle-doo, crowed the rooster over the barnyard. The sound broke the silence of the morning and Hope Farm woke up. Henrietta rustled her feathers and clucked. She wasn't ready to wake up. She was dreaming. She was beautiful. She was brown with black feathers that looked like lace around her neck. Her bright red comb crowned a beautiful beak. Here she stopped. Here she always stopped, for in her dream, her beak was straight. But when she woke up, her beak was crooked. Henrietta sighed. Oh, I wish I could live my dream. I wish my beak was straight like every other chicken I know. Why couldn't I have a normal beak? Why did God make me this way? It must have been a mistake, but God doesn't make mistakes. Um, again, Henrietta sighed as she hopped out of her nest. Hurry, Henny, the best bugs and seeds will be gone. Remember, when we have to, we have to be early birds to catch the worm, clucked sister. Why hurry? I can't pick up bugs and seeds off the ground because of my Crooked beak, finished sister. Yes, I know. Your crooked beak is all you talk about. At least you have a real name. Yes, it was nice to have a beautiful name like Henrietta. Sister just had the name Sister, but a name could be changed. How could you change a crooked beak? See her crooked beak? Henrietta hopped over to her food tray. The seed was piled thick so that she could eat. It was hard to eat seeds off the ground with a crooked beak. She was thankful for the tray. As she ate, Henrietta decided she would find a way to straighten her beak. She hopped out as soon as the farmer opened the pen. While the other chickens went to find bugs and worms, Henrietta set out to find a way to straighten her crooked beak. Then I'll be beautiful, just like in my dream, she thought. She found a small round hole in the side of the barn. She stuck the end of her beak into the hole and pressed her beak hard to one side, trying to straighten it. What you doing? asked a small voice. Not wanting to take her beak out of the hole, Henrietta replied, I'm straightening my rake. What? Take your beak out of the side of the barn so I can understand you. Is it stuck? Let me help. The little voice was on top of her beak. In front of her eyes, it, it was a mouse. The mouse tried to pull Henrietta's beak out of the hole. Henrietta's beak came out so fast it hurt. Ouch! Don't do that, little mouse. I said, I'm trying to straighten my beak, Henrietta said as she glared at the little mouse. Oh, I'm sorry. I was trying to help. Mother told me to always help others. Little mouse's ears drooped as she jumped off Henrietta's beak and scampered away. Wait, I'm sorry. You didn't mean to hurt me. But it was too late. Her little helper was gone. Henrietta shrugged her feathers and continued her search to straighten her beak. That hole wasn't working anyway, she thought. Poor sad little mouse. Henrietta searched around the barnyard. She poked her beak in the wood pile, but she only knocked off several logs off the pile. She rubbed her beak on a sharp rock, hoping to sand it straight. That made her beak hurt and her eyes water. When she went to get a drink from a puddle, she could see that her beak was still crooked. Henrietta hopped into the coop, tucked her beak under her wing, and closed her eyes. Henrietta, what is the matter? asked Queen Victoria, a kind white hen. Mrs. Mouse is telling everyone in the barnyard that you yelled at Little Mouse. Oh, sniffed Henrietta. I know she was trying to help, but I wanted to straighten my beak. You don't understand what it's like to have a crooked beak and not be beautiful. I can't even eat like all the other chickens. I had hoped to find a way to make it straight, but all I did was make it hurt. Henrietta clucked Queen Victoria. You must stop thinking of yourself and what you look like. God made you special. All the hens on Hope Farm are here to provide eggs for Farmer Dan and his family. We give him our best, 
I know you're young, but soon you'll be laying eggs too. It's time to start thinking of others. I'm gonna lay eggs for the farmer and his family? Henrietta perked her head to one side. Yes, the sooner you start eating more seeds and catching worms, the better eggs you will lay, exclaimed, explained he, Queen Victoria. But you should apologize to Little Mouse first. Henrietta hopped out and found the mouse. She told Little Mouse she was sorry for snapping at her. For the next few weeks, Henrietta woke every morning with a better attitude. She had hope. Maybe God could use her even with her crooked beak. She would lay eggs to help Farmer Dan and his family even if she had to work harder than the others because of her beak. One day, Henrietta laid her first egg. She wasn't sure what to do. She stayed in the coop on her nest, and when the farmer's wife came in to gather the eggs, she found Henrietta still on her nest. Henrietta, what are you doing? Did you lay an egg, she asked as she carefully reached under Henrietta. Oh, she exclaimed. In her hand, she held the most beautiful blue egg. Look, Henrietta, look at your egg. It's beautiful. You lay beautiful blue eggs. Look at that blue egg. My. The other hens heard the farmer's wife and hopped back into the coop to see the blue egg. Queen Victoria told the young hens that Henrietta was an Easter egg chicken. Some Easter egg hens lay brown eggs, some lay green eggs, and some, like Henrietta, lay beautiful blue eggs. <clears throat> Henrietta beamed. She hadn't made a mistake. It, God hadn't made a mistake. Excuse me, it didn't matter that she had a crooked beak. She gave the farmer's family beautiful blue eggs. Wow, Henrietta, even with a crooked beak, gave the farmer and his family beautiful blue eggs. I hope you've had a chance to see blue eggs before. Maybe I'll get one so you can see it next time. Well, Sherwood and I wanna thank you for visiting with us here, Living in Hope Storytime and on Hope Farm. Thank you. See you next time.